fam. Just woke up. Three days out. Got some shit sleep again today, man. I think like six, seven hours again. Body woke me up. Same deal, man. Like, body woke me up. Hungry. Um, and I just couldn't go back to sleep. I laid in bed. I woke up at like seven. I could have slept in till like, like nine, but I was like, you know, I stayed in bed for like an hour to like eight, eight thirty ish, and uh, I was like, this is not. I'm not going back to sleep. It wasn't letting me. So now, oh sorry, now uh, you know, I'm just gonna do my little, use the bathroom, do my weigh-ins, and just start my day. Probably have a coffee, get some editing done, get some my check-ins done. So uh, yeah, come with me while I do all this stuff. All right, just wait in. One, oh shit, it went away. But it said 149.6. So down a little bit from yesterday. Um, yeah, now I gotta get rehydrated. Probably get a cup of coffee. Because, uh, you know, I'm feeling like shit today. And then, um, yeah, do my check ins um, with Birdo. And uh, I'm hungry, so I want to prep this first meal. And then we got a little training session today. Like I've been saying, like this week's training is just kind of like it's not really intense. Um, yeah, so we got what do we got? I don't even know. I think we have an upper body day. Yeah, oh no, we have a lower body day today. Let me see. Yeah, we got lower body day. So do you get that done real quick? Um, and uh, this is a it's Wednesday. Uh, it's a pretty free day to, for me until like around four. So, um, yeah, see if we can get some editing in, get the video out. All right, I'm gonna see you guys in the next scene, man. Good games, fam. So I just did my check-ins. Um, I, I want to get a meal in before I do some posing practice. I'll probably get some film of that. Um, got some feedback from Coach Birdo. Everything seems to be good. Um, so far, so good. So uh, no changes. Um, probably just run it through at least till tomorrow. It's a day to day thing. Um, woke up, uh, you know, I, I drank a cup of coffee, some water, woke up, got alive. The physique started coming to life a little bit. Um, started feeling a little bit tighter. And so, um, yeah, yeah, everything is good so far. So I'm, um, what, uh, I'm going to do is get this meal in. I'm going to try to get a little pump, see, see how that goes. Cause, um, I want to make sure I can get good pumps, right? And so, um, yeah, yeah. And then um, then we got to go hit a lower body gym session. So um, here we go. I'm going to show you guys meal one right here. Meal one is, uh, what is this, 175 grams of Jesus bread? Let me see. I forget. Oh, just in case for you guys that are watching that don't know how to use a freaking scale. So you, if I'm going to see how much this weighs, here's an easy way to do it. So I put the whole plate on the scale and then I press the tear button, right? Because when you put the whole plate on the scale, it weighs a certain amount. So it weighs like 634 grams, right? The whole plate. So when you press the tear button, see that tear, it zeroes it out. So that way technically weighs nothing and then when I lift the bread off of the plate it shows that it weighs 153 so boom about 153 grams of Jesus bread and how much steak is this and this is how you see how much steak it is you just lift it off it is 3.6 all right, and that's a quick lesson on how to use a scale. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's first meal. I'm gonna get this in, try to get a quick posing session in, then we, we out to the gym, baby. Oh yeah, we cannot get forget the three water bottles. So yeah, we can't forget the water because we're having three, two to three water bottles every meal. Um, so yeah, so we hit that, that one and a half gallon mark, so. Yeah, I'm gonna take this down. I'll see you guys at the in the next scene. Bruh, I just did a whole posing session, like a 15 minute posing session. And prior, I did a pump session. I did not record. I forgot to hit the record button. My bad, y'all. So, um, but yeah, yeah, I gotta meet up with my videographer right now. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next scene. Hey, y'all, just linking up with my videographer. We're here at Boost. 
at the job. What's up? What's good, bro? This is the dude that's gonna be filming this Saturday. What's good? What's that? What's that? It's Gareth. Wanna say anything to the cam? Uh, you know, gonna show up Saturday morning. <laughs> gonna do his thing. That's it. The pro shots. Gonna do his thing. Made by Gareth. Uh, at be better photography. photography. There you Let's go. get it. I got my shit on IG, but. Yes, sir. Go follow that man. All right, y'all. Thank God for this new lens. I can film. Let's get it. So, today's session is gonna be real easy. Just leg extensions. Uh, what we got? Leg extensions. I think calves. Let me look it up. Yeah, straight leg calf raise, leg curls, and then back to leg extensions. So. 8 to 12 reps, 3 sets. So I'm just going nice, slow and controlled reps. Warm up with that. Let me drink some water before I start cramping the fuck up. Like, why is this weight feel like fucking heavy as shit, bro? Not heavy, but it's burning like a motherfucker. Honestly, it just might stay here. I might count that. It's like I want to not go too hard. Cause I, yeah, I've been cramping in my quads during posing a lot. The past week. Just this past week. So I'm getting a little bit worried. It's more specifically right here toward the knee on the left quad. It's cramping. He said no pause, so getting in that stretch position, getting out. Nice and easy. I just got off the, a call with Birdo, so we're not a call, but he we have been talking back and forth, and apparently I got to bump up sodium. I didn't. My body got used to taking in a lot of sodium, um, because I didn't even realize that how much sodium I was using uh, before we started capping it at two and a half a couple weeks ago, two and a half grams. So upping it today to uh, three and a half grams to see how that goes because I've been cramping. I, I know you guys have been, I've been telling you guys I've been cramping so it's probably because I'm not really holding the water, I'm peeing a lot. So hopefully that'll fix it. Um, I might need to up it even more, you know, because I wouldn't be surprised if I was taking 10 grams of sodium a day. <laughs> Fuck. All right, moving on to second to last exercise. We got three sets of leg curls. Keep it real light, nice and easy. What the fuck? 
fuck is going on here? What was someone doing here? Okay. That easy. I'm just gonna take like a. Yeah, we're running this shit back. Same weight. Damn, oh, I just realized, is the mic picking up my headphones? My bad if it is, shit. The mic is right next to my headphones, let me move that. I just realized that, fuck. Whoops. Damn, that whole time, oh well. Ramping, bro. Hopefully this change in sodium helps, man, because I've been cramping like a motherfucker. Alright, just like that, in and out. Uh, I was going to go in the posing room, but I didn't feel like waiting. There's people in there, and there's a line. Because in my gym, there's only one posing room, so it gets rough if you want to use it. And then there's like a 15-minute limit, so. And I'm by myself, so it'll be, yeah, it'll be rough, so. If anything, uh, I just want to get this new this meal in, get some sodium in, because I'm fucking... If this... Oh, man. That's all I need to do. Up sodium. We'll see. Hopefully it changes uh, the physique and, and, fuck, more so how I'm feeling. I've been dealing with those cramping issues, so hopefully uh, the up in sodium changes changes that for the, for the better. So we'll see. I got a lot of editing to do, so that's what I'm gonna be doing all day. Um, I'll see you guys when we get back home to eat the next meal. Look at all this beautiful bread. I gotta restock on my Jesus bread. Sourdough. Let's get the big one. He uh, restocking. What's good, Gaines fam? So we're back in the gym. Uh, not back in the gym. Back in the kitchen, got post-workout eats ready, cooked up. Here it is. Got, uh, I think it's like four ounces of barramundi sea bass and 160 grams of Jesus bread. Um, it's a little bit burnt over there, cause yeah. Um, and that, yeah, that, oh wait, we're gonna add some laughing cow cheese. So we're gonna add a laughing cow cheese wedge to this meal. Cause now I could have, now I could have uh, up to four four grams of sodium. The reason why I took out laughing cow cheese because there's a lot of sodium in it. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys caught that during the workout, but um, I got on a call with Birdo and um, yeah, I told them about like uh, how I've been cramping a lot, 
and he uh, wanted me to, t long story short, uh, he was saying that because I was probably taking a massive amount of sodium, that's what my body was used to, um, before we actually capped off like that two and a half, like a couple weeks ago. Before that, I was taking up too much sodium, like a lot of sodium. That, that's what my body's used to. So now that I dropped it, um, my body is like not really adjusted. And so, yeah, it's not really, I'm not really holding on to any water. That's why I'm peeing a lot and I'm cramping a lot. So, um, yeah. So now I can get sodium and uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Cause uh, now, yeah, now I get more salt in my food, tasty, right? So. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that helps the physique too. Look a little bit harder, and less soft, and yeah. So taking this down, and then I'm doing a lot of editing today. So I'll catch you guys in the next scene. All right, y'all. This meal. Now that I can have more sodium. Oh my god. It is night and day right now. I'm enjoying this so much more. Got my two water bottles, sparkling water. But I am enjoying this so much more now that we're bumping sodium a bit by a gram and a half. It makes a huge difference. Now I can like marinate my my meat paws with um, some liquid amino, a little bit of soy sauce. And I could do with laughing cow cheese on my bread. Oh my god. Makes a huge difference in taste. I'm in heaven right now, y'all. Y'all understand. Steak with no no seasoning is whew. That's what I had this morning. It was good, but now it's just different. Fish with no seasoning. If those of you that know, no, <laughs> I'm not the wave. But now they can put soy sauce on it or liquid amino. Oh my god! Oh my god! So good. And this is what we do: put the fish on the bread, right? The fish on the bread like that. Mmm. Mmm. Put the fish on the bread. Fish on the bread just like that. Make a little Sammy. Little fish Sammy. Fish and cheese. Mmm. Chef's kiss right there, boy. Oh my God. Peak week is so good this week. Let's go. Fish on the bread is fire. And the best part about this lady Hold up. It'd be rude of me. Ugh. I'm rude as hell. I keep talking with my mouth full. But the best part about this meal is I get to do it again later. <laughs> Woo! I'm happy. Yo, who knew sourdough bread was so freaking good? It's damn Jesus bread, bro. This is a, this is the reason why I call it Jesus bread. Cause God blessed this bread. That's how good it is. I know. This specific bread was made by Jesus Christ Himself. Cause this, this, this right here, man. Oh my God.
And then it hits so good with the bubbly. The zero calorie because it's sparkling water. Just flavored. My God. What is in here? What makes it zero calorie? Oh, it's just a bunch of vitamins. And red 40 and blue 1. Oh, what the hell? It's got to be bad. What the hell am I drinking? Blue 1? The hell's blue 1? Whenever you see the colors as an ingredient, just know it's not good for you. What the hell are you drinking? Mmm. This meal's getting me excited to uh, to edit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Bro, when I had potatoes yesterday in the last, in the vi video from yesterday. Ugh. Potatoes with like no salt, with no laughing cow cheese, man. That was rough. Oh, my battery's about to die. All right, y'all. I'm going to see you guys in the next scene. Thanks for eating with me. Last bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's good, Gaines fam? Just prepping up my Gaines bowl. And I figured... Yeah, I should have done this earlier, but... I should have uh, filmed me make, prepping this bowl. And then showing you guys that, but um, yeah, we're adding the final touches. I already got the uh, banana in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got the banana. I got the oatmeal in. Hold on. So it looks like that so far. I like to make it look nice for the gram. But we're going to add Prozies Protein Granola. Use my code Gains. This is really good. I love this. It gives the oatmeal texture. You get a little bit of protein from this and carbs and a little bit of fat too. So we're gonna do 25 grams. Boom! I'm gonna show you what, how beautiful this looks. This is the caramel flavor. Uh, and we got the honey. So we're gonna throw about 10 grams on top of that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking, that's beautiful. Let me take a quick pick. Blau, blau, Gaines Bowl. All right, I'm gonna show you what this Gaines Bowl looks like, baby. Yeah, we got the, the Prozies Protein Granola, the caramel flavor. We got uh, 200 grams of banana and some honey and some oatmeal. This is delicious. I'm gonna take this one down. And this is the oatmeal that I use. I love this oatmeal. It's Quaker brand and it's blueberry. It's the fruit and cream brand, uh, or not brand, but fl fruit and cream flavors so this one's blueberries and cream i used two packets bang bang tastes delicious better than regular oatmeal or i am going to eat this while i edit so i'll catch you guys in the next scene i gotta bang all these videos out before the show because the show is in three days and uh i want to get my i want to catch up so i'll see you guys gains fam i love this bowl son I love this bowl, this beautiful bowl, man. Mm. So
so freaking good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna enjoy this. I got this is my workstation. Editing. I banged out a video already. And it's about to drop in 30 minutes. I got one more three week out video. Yeah, I think I have about probably like two, two or three two weeks out videos. And then one week out, we're vlogging every fucking day. We're one week out right now, pretty much three days out. So, and then uh, I, I hired a videographer. Shout out my homie Gareth. to film for me on show day so we're definitely gonna have a show day vlog i'm excited about that and yeah yo i hope you guys are enjoying this because i'm really working hard man i'm editing everything filming everything and even the show day vlog i'm probably gonna end up filming uh editing myself because my boy does not know how to edit videos only photos so i'm gonna have good ass photos for sure this is so good man i wish you guys could try this if you are at home and watching this go make this bowl i, I promise you you're, you won't regret it. it's such a good pre-workout bowl i'm gonna eat this into the off season and you guys will see i'm gonna eat this shit every day and it's gonna be freaking Massive. It's going to be way more massive than this. I'm going to use like three bananas. Three packets of oatmeal. And I'm going to need bags of that protein granola. Shout out Prozies. Use my code for the gains. For 10% off. And some extra goodies. Get you that discount. And support your boy. You know what I'm saying? Two birds and one stone. All right, y'all, let me get back to my work. Oh, I got to get a couple bottles of water. And then I will see you guys in the next scene for the last meal today. Let's go, Gaines fam. Got the last meal of the night. I am tired. I'm going to show you guys what I'm having. We got six ounces of delicious New York strip steak and some Jesus bread. I think it's like 126 grams or something like that. And then we got two water bottles, one sparkling, one regular have this meal man this is gonna give me some life and then actually just put me to bed don't give me life <laughs> trying to get to bed but yeah i'm gonna end this video right here if you guys got this far make sure you guys subscribe to the channel join the games fam like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one so we are two days out from the wait today's thursday yeah two days out <laughs> from the first bodybuilding show of the season man I just woke up, got some great sleep. We got about eight hours and a half, but the quality was really, really good. Um, I'll talk about it in a little bit, but uh, yeah, I woke up feeling really good, real refreshed. Woke up a little bit heavier than yesterday. I'm at 150 pounds, so. Um, but uh, yeah, I feel good. So the sodium bump worked. Um, I only got up to pee like two times last night that I can remember. So uh, that, that means pretty much I didn't break sleep. So I was able to get really good quality sleep, man. So um, got to do my check-ins for, for Coach Birdo. So I'm going to do that. Then we got to get a meal in. No workouts today. Um, just posing practice all day. Well, not all day. 20 minutes and then uh, another 20 minutes on top of uh, that. So... Um, yeah, so two days out, I'm going to do my check-ins, and then uh, I'll see you guys when we get our first meal in. What's good, Gaines fam? Got meal one plated and ready to go. I'm going to show you guys what I'm having. Um, here it is. So, same old, same old morning steaks. So, this is 3.8 ounces of steak, and then I got like 160 grams of Jesus bread. And yeah, so yeah, three, oh yeah, sorry. Three bottles of water too. Can't forget that because we got to stay hydrated. 
yeah and uh come eat with me let's talk a little bit all right gains fam so let's talk a little bit because we got a little some updates and uh some good news yesterday um birdo insisted on making the change to uh well so let, let me give you some context so i want to say the past like couple weeks we capped like two or three weeks ago we capped um uh sodium at like two and a half grams right and so um prior to that i was taking i didn't realize with all the hot sauce and and, and all this extra, extra stuff because i don't really track sodium regularly um i was taking in a lot of sodium i didn't I did never really like looked up how much but if i had to guess off the top of my head it was probably close probably close to 10 grams a day um Definitely over five grams a day. Um, I, I'll tell you that. And so my body, that's what my body was used to. When we capped it, you know, my body started to kind of react differently, right? Uh, which makes sense. Like I, I was peeing a lot. I was not able to hold on to any water pretty much. And I was cramping a lot. So th that's why I was going through this whole like week. Like I was just cramping a lot. And I was, you know, I'm like, all right, maybe it's just me kind of my body kind of recovering. I didn't know. I don't know. So yesterday, we uh, Berto insisted that, and, and part of that too was I was getting bad sleep because I would pee like at least like five times throughout the night. So I'll, I'll, my body would wake me up, take a piss. I, I want to say ten times, but I wasn't really counting. But yeah, it was a lot of times I was just getting up out of you know I was in deep sleep. I could feel it. And I just needed you know I needed to get up to pee, so it would break that sleep. So pretty much my sleep quality was suffering. So because of that, we bumped sodium yesterday from two and a half grams to up to three and a half to four grams. So I went up to like four grams yesterday. And so, yeah, today woke up. I had, I mean, went to sleep last night, had great sleep. I only got like, I was able to sleep in and I slept a little bit late because I was editing. So I slept from like 8.30 to like, I mean, I, I, I slept from like 10.30 to like i think i woke up at like 8 eight thirty around there so pretty much i got like my sleep score from my fitbit um told me i slept for like eight hours and about 30 minutes and more importantly the quality was just way good i was i i was in deep sleep for almost for like two hours um so usually when i when i get like i i told i don't know if i told you guys but usually when i reflect on the the sleep quality I look at deep sleep because I, what I notice is that when I get um, over an hour of deep sleep, I wake up feeling a little bit more refreshed than if I were to be under an hour of deep sleep. So, um, yeah, I felt fucking amazing, right? I, I, I remember only getting up like two times throughout the night to pee. Um, so that that probably uh, helped the sleep score and the sleep sleep quality. Um and yeah, I woke up not feeling dehydrated. Like usually I wake up feeling like complete trash because, you know, I'm peeing so much. So I'm waking up pretty much dehydrated. And so I would wait. I woke up fucking feeling amazing. I didn't even need to drink fluids right away before I started my check-ins and doing work and stuff. Um, I did, but I, I did like drink a bottle of water after, but I didn't need to. It's like, it was, it was a different feeling. You know, I just felt refreshed. I felt good. And it showed in the physique, man. It just keeps getting better and better every day. Looking a little bit more harder and tighter. Pause. Um, every day. And so, yeah. So I'm excited to see, like, tomorrow's probably going to get even better. So no changes in the diet or anything. Um, just the sodium intake was a big difference maker. And that's pretty much it, man. So, yeah. So today, um, right after this, I'll probably get some posing. There's no training today. Um, the only training is, is just posing for 20 minutes. So I'm going to do my normal 15-minute uh, routine, and then um, I'll practice, like, just holding poses for a long time, for, like, probably 20 minutes. Um, and then, yeah, um, get back to editing. I got a few clients in the afternoon. And... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's pretty much a big change. Um, it's, I mean, well, this week has just been hectic. This has been a hectic. Peak, uh, it's been a hectic peak week because there's just so much we have to fix. You know, what I mean, like that whole sodium thing is a big thing. And then 
yeah, just figuring figuring that out, um, how to kind of get us there, right? It wasn't like a um, process where it was just like, it it is relatively linear because we didn't really change anything aside from the sodium, but like, um, yeah, yeah, just like a thing, little thing is like we have to we have to change and just take note of. Um, so then when we go through the other the next two peak weeks, um, yeah, we, we know what we know what to do, right? And and so moving forward, um definitely going to cap sodium like like after this show i'm definitely going to cap sodium around this where i'm at right now like three and a half to four grams uh of sodium so um yeah yeah this is all data man i love it i love this is one thing i love about bodybuilding it's like um just like all the little tweaks and, and i guess the science behind it right and it, it's a beautiful thing um, you know, you're just messing with sodium and seeing how the body reacts to that and how it changes. Um, yeah, so peak week is such a beautiful thing if you, um, if you did everything right, right? I think a lot of people think of peak week as magic. And I think it's only magic if, like, everything, all the boxes were checked off previously, right? It's not like a thing where, you know, I half-assed my fucking diet for, like, eight weeks and now peak week's just gonna save me for the show. No, I mean... We've just been doing things right for a long time. And, you know, doing a proper peak week will bring me, you know, to another level. So, I'm excited, man. I'm really, really excited. It's starting to hit a little bit now. I think tomorrow it'll hit a lot more when I actually go to the venue. Tomorrow's a busy day because um, I got to, you know, I'm getting a haircut in the morning. Um, I got a, a couple clients to train and then. My whole afternoon, I'm pretty much going to be in New York because um, I have a, to do the polygraph. And apparently, the polygraph lasts it's like an hour polygraph. And then right after, um, so I have that at 4.30. And then right after, around like 6.50, I have a tanning scheduled. So I'm going to be there all afternoon. Probably have to pack meals. I'll vlog it for sure. I'll probably see some of, my, some of the athletes competing tomorrow as well. So... Yeah, doing one laughing cow cheese. I just spread it all over the bread. I forgot about that shit. I can have these now. It made me think because I because uh, the reason why I took laughing cow cheese out because it has so much sodium for one little thing, one little wedge. So now that I can have some sodium, we're golden, baby. Just spread that it makes the bread taste so much better. Cheese on the bread. It's like a butter spread, but not really. It's cheese. Cheese goes good with like almost everything, bro. I love cheese. For those that know, my cheese lover my cheese lovers, you know. Cheese goes good with everything. My boy. With the sourdough bread. Yo, Birdo, this is thank you for the recommendation on the sourdough bread. If you if you ever watch this, because Berto's the one that recommended, he said during his prep he would every Friday he would treat himself to a very fatty steak and some sourdough bread, and I was like, let me try it, and so I went to my local bakery, shout out Shoprite Bakery, <laughs> and I, I got big ass loaf of sourdough bread, and I love it. So we grab a piece of this bread right here. And we put a little steak on top so we get a little steak sandwich just like that. Just like so. Uh. Uh. Yes, sir. Two. Let's do another one. Three. Oh. Uh. So we do that. Fold it up. And now we got a little steak sammy. Macro friendly steak sammy. Mmm. 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 I love this lens, cause now I get to you guys get to sit down across from me like we're on a date and eat with me, man. You know, it's I feel like it's getting personal, Gaines fam. I think we like we could take this relationship we have to to the next level, and uh, I like it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm a clown. If you know me, you know me. Ooh, all right. My steak sandwich just fell apart. It's falling apart. My goodness. 
Mm. Here. I'm going to let you guys have the last few bits, bites of, uh, of steak. That's all I got. We got like little fatty pieces. Yeah, I'm going to let you guys. Yeah, it tastes good, doesn't it? I told you. Wayne Gaines got you. Mm. See, we could take this relationship to a new level. I'm feeding you now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, man. I haven't felt this energized during this during this prep in months, bro. <laughs> I'm lying. My refeed days, I, I feel good, but those low days were killing me. 1,400 calories. I was... I was managing, but I was, huh, you know how it goes. If you know, you know. Huh. Actually, let me not, I'm, I'm going to just save it. But some company reached out to me, and it, it, they're going to give me some, they want to partner up, and they, they want me to promo their brand. It's like a new company, and pretty much it's like, here, I'll, I'll send you, I'll, I'll tell you what they sent. It says, we are your next healthy restaurant quality delivery pre-cooked meat to go. We have experienced overwhelming success as we launched 10 plus restaurants in the last eight weeks to bring this culinary experience to homes nationwide. We are launching the name, dot, 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 Just Meats. <clears throat> Just Meats product line provides the same experience that our restaurant customers have grown to love. We are now delivering that same high quality cooked and pre seasoned protein to your home. How would you love to be part of this revolutionary launch? We are looking for select ambassadors to help spread the, the news of this exciting new opportunity. We would love to just to send you a Just Meat sample box. Oh, damn, I just said the name. Whatever. Sample box of our highest rated proteins as an introduction to, to blank. We truly feel like this is the best mix of meal prep world meeting delicious fast food. My God, I'm excited. Hell yeah, I'll try your food, man. I'm going to see you guys in the next scene. I'm going to practice posing after this, so I'll see you guys. Cheers. What's good, Gaines fam? So, um, before we get into posing, this package just came in. I want to show you guys what we got. So, it's for my sneakerhead fam, by the way. So, you know, if you're not into that, you could just fast forward. Um, but boom. If those of you know, know, we got some J's. Let me show you guys what's inside this box. Oh my God, these are fucking beautiful. I always wanted these back in the day. But playoff eights. So I was able, on the sneakers app, I was able to get um, the early access pairs. So Or the shock drop. Quote unquote, there's a shock drop, and yeah. Damn, this looks so clean. These are dropping September 30th. I got, I got an early access pair, but they look clean. I kind of want to keep them low key, but nah. I think uh, I'd probably wear them like w a couple times. I don't see myself like really rocking these all the time, so yeah. But it's cool to have in hand, man. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, I'll probably film. So I'm gonna get some posing in. Um, I'm just letting my uh, my wireless mic charge, and I'm letting my body kind of digest. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get a posing session in, and then right after the posing session, yeah, let's see. Damn, these are nice, man. Here, uh, let me take out the other pair. This is the last time you're gonna see these. Clean, bro. Clean. All right, Gaines fam. I always wanted these when I was when I didn't have money in high school when these came out when I was in high school about 10 years ago. But uh yeah, having them in hand. Yeah. Uh there's no shot I'm wearing this like often and like if I if I were to actually keep them I wouldn't wear it often. So not a my, not my favorite silhouette, but in hand these look clean. I'm not going to lie. All black is is my my uh go-to color too, so but I'm going to put these back. And let's get some posing in, man. Damn, the box is crispy, too. 
So I'm going to throw this in here. And I'll see you guys in the next. See, we have a bunch of other packages too. I'll probably get a, a, that part. I have a, a, at least like eight shoes that, are, that came in. So past like week or two. Um, but I've been slacking on the content. So I, I, I'll get that in. But we're going to get some posing in. What's good, Gaines fam? So I just got home. I got like an hour break between training clients. So I am going to meet up with Nick Licamelli from 3DMJ, the PT from 3DMJ, pro bodybuilder as well. He is my neighbor. So I'm just going to walk over, put the trunks on, walk over. And he's also, um, the reason why I'm going there is because I want uh, a second eye on my posing. And I figured since one, he's a pro bodybuilder. Um, two, he works with 3DMJ, and three, he's going to be a judge at the Mr. America, which is my second show of this season. So I just kind of want insight of like from a judge's perspective what they're looking for, and maybe he could tweak some things if if need be. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Maybe I'll get some film if he allows me to. So I'll see you guys in the next scene. Gaines fam, I am here with Nick from 3DMJ, PT Pro Bodybuilder. Um, and he's gonna be a judge of Mr. America, man. So uh, we're just getting a second eye on my posing. See if you could give me insight or just feedback and tweak things maybe. And uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's do it. There he goes. This is the look behind the curtain. This is the yeah, dungeon. Yeah. This is the famous blood spattered <laughs> wall that's behind all my content. Yeah, updates. right? Exactly. This, this is, is it right man. here. I want to owe you guys with a nice, home gym. Man. This yeah. is the minimum of what you can get by with right here. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's all you need. It's all you need. Okay. Yeah. So um, when so when you do that yeah. uh, to the side, mm -hmm. he always said make sure you, you kind of like point your like straighten, straighten make this. that straight, and then almost like it's a straight line from hand to hand. Yep. Oh, like this. Yeah. Oh, uh, so like this and like yep. this and or then straight. Whatever you feel like, I think how you had it was good. Like this. I had it like this. Okay, and then turn like this, like that, and then yeah. So instead of like this, straighten. Yep. Straighten. The or wrist. Just the wrist. Yep. Cool. Okay, that looks better. What do you look at when you're judging? Like this? Like does that even matter to you? It's tough, man. It's like so. Do that again. Pop that. I do it like this. I like that because that pops your bicep. Yeah, that's why really. And it okay. just seems natural. Yep. Yeah, nah, do what you're doing. You're right. But I mean, yeah, like little tweaks, I'm try I'll try, I didn't even think to try that. I've seen people do like, like yeah, exactly, probably what you were. What you did was better. Yeah. Do what you did, and yep, and I like your flare in the lat in the back, like of the right arm, perfect. Good. So that's good? Yep. Okay, cool. Quarter turn the right. <sighs> so, for this, uh, is it better for to be wider? or here i would say i would say go until like so that's perfect yeah, because if you were any narrower you'd be kind of losing size in your legs yeah, if you were yeah. any wider then you'd have space in between and they would look skinny Got so it. you're perfect right there and then i think you're a little bit yep that's good just activate the hamstrings a bit don't slam down on them yeah, just like how so i can't really see so like how is it good here? Yep. Or, okay, so, so that's good. Just like a 50% effort of the hamstring. Just okay. wake it up. And, yep. And that's good, and then... Perfect. Same deal, like pull it up? Exactly, yep. Okay. Pull it up, pull it way up. Yeah, your so waist just, your waist just disappears. This. Yep, okay. you so pull it good. way up. All the way up. Yeah. So that's good. That's yep, better. perfect. Okay, because I, I usually just have it a little bit not 
A little bit relaxed, pretty much. But if that's better, I'm going to pull it up. Yeah, pull it way up. Better. Yep. Oh, yeah. You'll see on the video. Yeah. Good. For... That's why I have a problem, too, because when I'm doing it by myself, like, I video it, but it's hard to, like, like I can't, I don't know, I'd rather have the critique. Yep. So you, you say, oh, this is good. And then I know the feel, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's another reason. No. It's terrible. How about the feet for this? Is this okay? Because I, like, I kind of just point this one out and then I try to push this. That's what Eric told me to do. Yep, so you want to, you, yeah. Back, like, into the, yep, you want to squish leg. your legs together to pop out that hamstring. Yeah. Your feet are fine like that. And the slight front lean I try to do. Yep. And then. Exactly. Yep. That's good. Perfect. Yep. So my sides are good then. Yeah, sides look good. Um, the one thing that Jeff used to tell me was yeah. when you, so your, your relaxed poses yeah. are basically the same each direction. And so basically this is your front, and then when you turn, you're doing the same thing, but then you're rotating your torso. So you're basically in the same position as you were for the front relax, except you're just rotating your torso. Ah. And the cool Does that thing. Does it different from what I would normally do, or no? It looks pretty much the same. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna stick with the like what's natural. Yeah, I'm not gonna don't change anything. Like yeah. you know, a couple of days before the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's cool about bodybuilding is that everyone has their own take on the poses. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like like yes, you have to do certain things, but For sure. you your front relax will look different than someone else's, and yeah, so you, exactly. the way that you position yourself could be different than someone else, which could mm -hmm. be better for you, which could be worse for someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for you to pull up on those relax money someone else with a blocky waist maybe not maybe they gotta do something else to kind of hide that exactly. yeah. and then you ask what we look for as a judge it's tough man because there are criteria but it's kind of like um kind of like looking at like like a mountain range or like a like the grand canyon mm -hmm. and trying to try to explain why it's beautiful <laughs> it's yeah. tough to say like when you have five physiques up there there's just like one or two that just pop and just bring your eyes to them yeah. so it's not like there's a checklist of like a b c d like does this has this guy has three of the four the five this guy it's more like i look first like let's see who's grabbing my attention and then i see why is that person grabbing my attention mm. and then as the people move up on the stage and you get different looks and you start to see okay that person i see you know my eyes keep gravitating toward their glutes and then the next guy okay that guy's got no waist and he's got really big arms so like so it's more just about being on then it's more about just being on yeah, and yeah. bringing the best you to that to that stage okay 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 it's good to know all right um oh yeah men uh the muscle yeah so let's do front double bicep <clears throat> nice quads are good the angle your your quad your legs are good uh look. should i pull it up i mean this is I feel like this is the highest I can kind of That's up. good. Um, Blot the stomach. What so, I do it depends. So, I've done both. I've, um, so I've pulled up mm -hmm. for sure, like, like really, not a vacuum vacuum, yeah, but kind of like, thing, almost like flare know. like the rib cage. If you're going to do that, like yeah. suck it, like suck it way up. Yeah. And then come up. Mm -hmm. Or, That's what I'm trying to do. or, you, good enough or should I like, try it, try it again. <clears throat> Yep. Try to almost relax your abs and just flare your ribs up. Yeah. That's better. So that's that would be pulling up. Pull try up. try contracting down. So yeah. the two ways I, I I used to do it was I would um because you and I are never gonna be the biggest guys on yeah, the stage. Exactly. But and I don't have that good vacuum that like that aesthetic vacuum out there. But that's okay, because we gotta work with what we have. Right. So I've tried to pull up first, uh, and then and do that, but then uh -huh. What Jeff and I did was we just contracted my abs. Yeah. So I put one foot out, flexed my abs, and just bang, went up. And I wasn't looking like wide up there, but I was looking very, because we have similar midsections. Yeah. Um, and my abs were just like the focus of the pose. So you could try to crunch down and flex your abs and uh, then uh, just come up. Oh, how about trying? Whatever's comfortable. Okay. The reason I did the leg out was because it felt more comfortable it. to me, yeah. I mean that 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 brings out for sure your obliques and serratus. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. Try them both. Yeah, yeah. 
What, what looks better to you, though? It's tough to say. I mean, they both try, try them both again. So s relax the abs and suck in. I mean, that's... Either or is... That looks good. And then like crunch down and see. Because that's how I've been practicing. I don't want to change it right away. Maybe for Mr. America, I might. <laughs> but unless it looks better, then I, I, could, I could do it. I wouldn't say one is better or, or worse. I would say go whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think they're both good. Yeah, okay then. I'll just keep it. All right, let's do lat spread. <clears throat> yeah, last thing I, I want to do. I this because I, I don't know. It just kind of helps me get leverage. And I feel like, especially with the tan, mm -hmm. I'm like digging in here. Yeah. One, it like, depending on the tan, I've it, it kind of smeared. Mm -hmm. time at the Battle of the Bay, it smeared. So then there was like it was light right here, and you could see like my hand marks. My first show, I uh, I kept I always practiced my rear lat spread, yeah. front lat spread, and I got on stage with oil, and I was like, whoop! Yeah, <laughs> like I just yeah, so had I no grip. Use this and yeah, how it looks though. So the trunks, make sure they're yeah perfect. Pull them right up to that V. Yep, your natural V. Yep, perfect. Pull up more. So put your like your chest up. Yeah, oh, so almost like arch back a little bit. Good. So don't hold your breath. Relax. There you go. Good. I'm trying to like suck in my air to pull it up here. That's why I'm trying to hold my breath or like kind of pull the air up here. Yeah. That... Keep in mind you don't want to um, you don't want to contract unless you have to because you don't want to be you don't want to fatigue anything unless mm -hmm. you have to. So with the lat spread, um, this should all be nice and relaxed. Lat spread is more of a of a stretch almost. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your arms are gonna be contracted. Your legs are contracted. But everything else kind of just comes along for the ride almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so like, you want to almost like, like pull up, flare the ribs out. Yeah. What do I do? What about the elbows? Is it elbows? You want to you want to like push. Not too high. You want to push as far as you can, and to spread the lats. But you also don't want to like look. Is that good? Perfect. Yeah, and then try to arch your back more. Oh shit. More than this. That looks good. That's good. How does it feel? Hard. Okay. Hard. What feels hard about it? Uh, just trying to arch more. Okay. Because I don't have that. I don't know. I just. I guess I don't have that mobility in my spine. I don't know. It feels weird. Uh, this is the height most like an arch. That looks good. Yeah, man. That waist. <laughs> yeah, I know. It helps having that <laughs> slim waist because everything looks. Yeah. Yeah. So when you do that. Are you are you tensing your abs up or are you relaxing? Nah, so them? I'm just what I'm doing when I'm pulling that air in. I try to pull up the air up here, so then it just like I could get like it feel bigger up okay. here. Um, yeah, no, I don't do anything much with my abs. Okay, good. So yeah, they, no, like, they should be. It looks like you're you're cr you're tensing them up. Oh. But if so I'm doing like something like this. Okay, good. Yep. Yeah, and then just trying to pull up the air, so then it just keeps me like this. Good. Okay. Um, I right, do that one more time. Do front lat spread. Good, so breathe in. Good. Yeah, so when I do it, this is how I do it. So I'm taking a deep breath, and then I'm pushing the, the lats mm -hmm. out, and then I'm holding the breath, and then, then I try to, like, get into that, like, hinge, and yep. then arch, I guess. But I can't really arch as much as I guess I want to. That looks good. The air is going to be your friend in this one. So you want to... When you breathe in, let those, let everything kind of spread out, just like you said. Gotcha. And then when you're up there, then you want to take those then kind of shallow breaths. Breathe, yep. Yeah, the whole way after that. Yep. But how does it look, though? Is it, is it... Looks good. Okay. Yep. Nice. And don't forget the arms. Yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> good. Yeah. I got to keep in mind that the little things. Even, too, on the front relax, I always forget, too. Yep. Is that even necessary, though? It looks different. Yeah, I would, I would, I would contract them. Like yep, because that, that's a night and day. Yep. Okay, okay. Yeah, make sure everything's everything is like a fifty percent contraction. Yeah, you just yeah, want to yeah. wake everything up. Yeah. Even like your chest on the front on the front lat, like hit it and then boop, like just just a little bit, then arms and just bang, then hit it. Good. Yeah. Arms, yep. There you go. You'll see in the video when night when you hit the arms, it yeah. changes everything. Okay. Cool. cool. All right. All right. So now, yeah. What else? Uh, uh, quarter turn, and then we'll do side oh, chest. Oh, do this one. This is the money shot. Here, check this out before I yep. turn. I guess. Good. There you go. That's 
Fire. Yep, bring the hands up a little. So not your torso, just the hands. the hands. You'll get more bulk in your biceps. Yep, boom, there you go. So right here. Is yep. Because okay. the more you stretch your elbow out, the less peak your biceps are going to get. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Here's yep, that looks good. Yep, okay. cool. And then we'll do the most muscular when we get all the way around again. Oh, okay. We'll do it again. Yeah, let's do side chest. <sighs> Perfect. You're going to push the hamstring out. You got your, your calf on. Good. Good. So... Um, push, push that back. Oh, turn more. So not not so the torso, yes, but um, the like your your lat, like flare the back lat to really show your chest. Oh, so, so should my arm be over my pec or underneath? Um, usually I do it like this, pretty much, where it's like underneath. Yeah. Over. No, keep it just like you did, cause that kind of scoops it up and like gives it some bulk. Good. There you go. So just more turn then. More turn. That'll bring out your obliques more. How about this? Is it going too far back? And the, Yeah, a little bit. Keep that like that. Yep. Yeah. Always keep that like 90 degrees. That's going to give you the best bicep peak. Okay. All right, relax. So what I was, yeah, so what I was saying was basically like when you, so you hit, um, here, let me come. Yeah. So when you hit that, so legs are perfect. So from the, if someone's looking at you like this, it's gonna look really weird because you're gonna, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be like that. Yeah. So like, uh, so you did that perfect. I usually start here, scrape the hamstring out. You got your calf on, your hamstring contracted, your glute contracted, and then you're gonna rotate. And what I was saying, you were kind of like this, like this shoulder was kind of back. Oh. But if you, so here, so I'll, I'll, I'll face you. Like when you come. You were when you come here. You were kind of like this, but I want you to pop that shoulder blade out, almost like you're reaching, you're reaching toward the side of the stage. So is my bicep even supposed to be touching my my pec or no? Um, so you want to because you're saying push this out, so then it won't really be touching my. Push so let's see. So if you if you rotate, push it out. So I'm I'm still tucked here, yeah. but I'm. Pushing my sca my scapula around my rib cage. Uh, okay. Try that. So I'm trying to get the lat around the rib cage. Yeah, if you want to ride your shoulder blade around your rib cage. That's going to showcase. Good. Yes. Up high. Yeah, you don't want space here. Got it. Yep. Good. That's good? I like that, oh, yep. Shit. Okay. That's easier. Good. Can you bring that arm? Where should I put my hand? I feel like this is kind of comfortable right here. Yeah, I, just like that. Or here? So, yes, yeah, so you're going to come, you're going to be like that. Yep. So this is good. That looks good. This feels comfortable. And obviously you want to flex that chest. Yep, yeah, boom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. I like that. It looks dense. Okay, that feels comfortable. I can do that. All right, let's do tricep. <clears throat> so legs are the same. Yep. <sighs> nice. Yep. I like, so perfect. I think what you could also do is, um, so once you're, once you're back like that, boom, you got legs act, legs on, your obliques are showing, then you can roll the shoulder forward okay. to kind of showcase the horseshoe and everything. Yeah. And then kind of roll it back. Uh, okay. Just not like too fast, but just like yeah. in a nice little rhythm, yeah. show it out, yeah. show it. Yep. And then bring it back. So they see they see your whole yeah, tricep. Bernie wants me to uh, push it down to show the delt. He said. Okay. So I guess I'll just play around with it. Well, if you don't, if you don't so, want to, if you don't roll the shoulder, then at least pivot turn. this yeah, way. They can see your tricep. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. I'll turn. Just so, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Mm-hmm. I right, try that one again. Because uh, this is the initial pose. Yep. And then. 
we can just turn a little bit. Like the oh, boom, yeah. And then we come back. Yep. And make sure you're. Show. Yep. That that one you want to make sure all your air is out. Yeah, and I was about to say. Um, I think my core looks better when it's just slightly hunched here. Yep. Because I remember uh, Eric was telling me just stay sh like kind of arched. Mm -hmm. But like I don't like the way my abs look like that. Yep. I don't have like a good core that just like just standing unless I'm crunched up. Yeah, no, I hear you. So yeah. that was one of the things with me too. My abs row is a strong point of mine. Yeah. So if I were to bring my chest up, I would lose all my ab definition. Yeah. So I kind of crunch down a bit with that one too. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought too. Yep. Yeah, so hit it, boom, air, boom, yeah. And then same, similar thing, either way. I just, yeah, I think I'm comfortable just showing it like that. Comfort is the number one thing here yeah. with the show this close, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Mm -hmm. um, and then same thing with this one with kind of like that, uh, like rounding the, the scap around the rib cage. When you're in this pose here, instead of um, like keeping the back shoulder like this, you could almost like bring it forward so that you show a little bit of width at yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so that, that would probably be my initial, that's why I want it as my initial like boom. Yep. And then when we show off, is like that, that's good? That's good, yeah. Okay, so as long as I'm, ooh, there, ooh, that's tough, I'm fucking tight. <laughs> that, that torso turn is tough. I know, uh, what's his name, Giraffe, he could like turn real good. Yeah. Really, yeah, Jeff Jeff used to tell me th like. And Jeff too. He could yeah, really well. We would be on a. It's the most I can go and comfortably. Yeah. And after that, just like. Yeah. I feel like it's like a rubber band, just good. Yeah, we'd be on a a, a call posing and <laughs> and he'd say, "Okay, now keep face this way and just turn your torso." And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like honestly, it's not it's not moving. Just, no. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, face the rear, and let's do rear uh, lat spread. Perfect. There you go. Christmas tree, good. Good, lean way back, back, More? back. There you go, yep. Okay, that's what, I, that's a, see these back ones are tough because like I can't really see what's going on. Yep. So this is pretty much what I Good, do. spread, yep, good. So this is how far you want to lean back. Yep, right. because remember the judges. Yeah, I'm like here because I, I, don't, I don't really know what it looks like. Yep, and remember the judges are lower right. than, than the state, perfect. So this is good. That's good ah, right there. Okay, that, that's, clearing that up is real good because I was just like this with it. Yeah, the more you could arch with that one, the better. Okay, and same with the bicep? Same with the bicep, yep. Okay. You want to exaggerate it. Like, uh, if someone's looking at you like me, it should almost look like I'm looking at you from the top down. Like, that's how much you want to arch. Good. Spread those, those scat. There you go. Nice. That's good. Good, relax. So that, that lean is good. That lean is good, it yep. It's excessive, but... It does. what I normally do, so that's good that I get that. Yeah, that was the one thing that Jeff told me too. He said it, it should feel like you're leaning back too much. Okay. Because that's what I told him. I'm like, I feel like I'm yeah, just leaning yeah, back way really too much. And he said, like if it feels good. like you're leaning back too much, lean back more. Okay, okay. Um, and then with that one too, you want to um, externally yeah. rotate. So elbows forward. Okay. As much as you can. And am I putting it high or low? Or you want to keep it. To kind of keep it like lower. I was like up here. Whatever looks what better, better for you, yeah. yeah. What looks better? Um, like how I had it there, or it was like right here. Let me see. Do it again, and then let me see before you hit the the back double. Um, hit the like, yeah. Like flex the Christmas tree first. Almost like the, like um. So imagine like when you if you're doing like a straight arm pull down. Yeah. Like the back position of a straight arm pull down. Like imagine you have two ropes on the cable, and you're pulling. Boom! You want to like hit yeah, just like this, right? yeah. So yep. I was gonna set up here. Yep. Beautiful. And then bring it all the way up, and then down, and then boom. Yep. And then spread these so there's no. Cre oh, there okay. you go. And then arch back. There you go. Ah, okay. This feels different. So. That looks good, this man. Is good to know. All right. Cool. Perfect. Because I was here with it, and uh, yeah, I was wondering. Yeah, you don't yeah. want you don't so want this, this right exactly. Here, this yep. You want to round that back. Yep. So this is better. That looks good. This one's all, yeah. Because it feels completely different from what I'm doing here. Yeah. So, yeah. So this looks better. It does, yeah. Nice. With the, okay, with, because it just seems like when you were in that first I position, mean, you have that, like your scap, your scaps are kind of like squeezing. Yeah, 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 and you want to get that width. You still have a lot of definition there. Yeah, and that's a huge difference too, like uh, in feel of this and then this. So yeah. That's a good one. Good, yep. Hit that Christmas tree. Boom. Yep. Perfect. 
Boom. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Yeah, that's such a huge difference. That, that's huge because I was having a like like uh so I film myself sometimes and uh, yeah I had a like sometimes I, I really love the way it looks but I can't really like I couldn't really pinpoint what I was doing like mm -hmm. that was different from like the past few days because past few days I was doing what you 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 saw me do like mm -hmm. squeezing the caps together but I didn't really feel it or notice. So. Looks really that's good. Huge. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, the right. last spread was okay. Last rip was good, yeah, okay. because this, the one thing was just to lean back and yeah, you nail that. Um, all right, turn that way, and we'll do uh, side uh, chest. They, so for the amateurs, they don't make you do both, right? You just pick whatever you. you like. Um, I think they send you all the way around. Oh, for the oh shit. For yeah. for the this mandatories. <clears throat> Boom! Nice. That's perfect. Yeah, bring the elbow. No, no. There you go. I'm bring it like uh, flex it more. There you go. Yep. Nice. You said this is your bad your bad side. Yeah. Well, compared <laughs> to the other side, I think so. Is it? I, I don't know if you have a bad side. Uh, I'm thinking the legs. That's why I was more looking at. It looks good. Wake up the hamstring a little bit. Glute. Yep. Exhale. There you go. But this side, of my tricep is like better. So. Good. I right, hit the side chest. Good. Legs are good. Good, man. Hamstrings, good. Good, good. Hamstrings look good. Good. Rotate your torso a bit more. Yeah. Bend the elbow more, the front elbow. Yep. Whew. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they, they spin you all around, bend the front elbow more. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that was another thing, too. I'm like, some shots, when I film it, I'm like, my bicep looks good, and some it doesn't. And I didn't know if it was because I was pushing it with, mm. you know, that little push right here where it pushes it out. Yep. So I think I'm just not, like, flexing enough. Cause I'm, I'm yeah, if, you're, if, yeah, if your elbow is too straight, you lose a lot of height. Okay. All right, face the front. And then let's do um, abs and thighs. Nice. Nice. That's good. Yep. With the arms, try to make as least space as possible on the side of your head. Okay. What do you do with your hands? I try to just like... Um, I don't know, I don't really have... Oh, you're, 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 you're classic. I think I put them like this. I just kind of hook them together. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but you want to make sure that... Oh, this, is this okay? That's good, whatever's comfortable, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you're just saying just to like clear the space. Yeah, exactly. Where, like... So, in other words, like, in? yeah, like don't flare out, gotcha. keep it nice and tight. The legs, what I'm doing with the legs is okay, right? Yeah, if that feels comfortable. Whatever allows you to contract your quads better, do that. Okay. Okay, cool. Try, um, so that back leg. Yeah, what should I do? Try to keep it a okay. little more facing. So keep that one faced like like a front. So hit your front relax, like your leg position. Yep. And then bring, if, is that your strong leg you want to put out? Or, yeah. Okay. The so then, then put that out however you want. Yep. Also, this is better. I think the first time you were turning that yeah, left turning, leg a like, bit out, and you're losing all the quad uh, size. No, no, no. So but if you angle. turn it a little more this way, your your oh, vastus okay. lateralis pops yeah, right that out. Actually, makes sense to like stay more how you are in the front. Relax. Good. There you go. Beautiful. Awesome. Yep. I like the side like a little bit to the side. We contract the obliques. Good. Um, all right, let's do most muscular. <sighs> nice, good. Um, I'm not a fan of the not a fan of the crab for my own physique, but um, I think it looks good on me though. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, like the uh, the one where like you. Oh yeah, me either. I yeah, I, I'm not good at that one. Yeah. Um, what about? Well, you could choose, right? Yeah, yeah, you could choose. Okay. What about hands on hips? You ever try that one? Do they call that one? Oh, okay, that's part of that's. You could choose, but. Yeah, I don't like the way it looks on me, but. I think I can do it. That, I mean, that doesn't look bad. Bring your hands up a little more. Yep, like that, and then really exaggerate. Yeah, whoo! <laughs> that doesn't look bad, man. <laughs> That looks pretty good. I just like this one. So I don't know. That that could be your number one. Yeah. Um, if you're in a pose down or like yeah, if, do if they ask for a different one, like 
Then you want to give him a different look. That one looks good on you, man, because, yeah, push those shoulders way forward. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm going to do that in the, the pose now. Yeah. Um, what else? A side serratus, in case they call that one. But basically, you're uh, kind of oh, like. How do I do that one? No, I never practiced that one. So basically, get into like a side tricep. Yep. And then the front arm's gonna go behind your head. Yep, exactly. And then crunch down whew, on the front. There you go. And then, yep, flex that. Oh, I never did this one. Rotate they a call bit. this one? Sometimes. Oh. Yeah, so perfect. Rotate here? Yep. Boom. All right, you, that one looks good on you. Yeah. Guys like us with like that small waist, this one is really, really an aesthetic one. One of my favorites. Yeah. Right, then I'll, I might do that during the pose out if, it, if uh, they don't call it. I yeah. hope they don't call it because I didn't practice that. I'm going to try it. Looks but good though. good the way I did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Because all the poses kind of build on themselves. Yeah. Like it's all, the, the legs are the same for yeah. all the front ones, all the side ones. Yeah. And then it's just, this, that's just, I mean, you're still flexing your chest in the back. Yep. Yeah, yeah, man. Good. That's pretty much it. That looks awesome. Awesome. Yo, thanks for that, man. That was, that was huge, actually. Those yeah. Those little tweaks. I think that's really going to help tomorrow. What's good, Gaines fam? I'm in a rush again because I got to go back to work training my last client. But I, I had to get a meal in uh, real quick. Got a Prozies Gaines bowl. Here it is. Same thing. Right here. We got oatmeal, some PB Fit because I ran out of protein Prozies oatmeal. And then some protein, granola, caramel flavor from Prozies, some bananas, and honey. So I will put the macros and calories right here for this meal. And I need to take this down real quick and head back to work. So I'll catch you guys in the next scene for the last meal. Gains fam, last meal of the night. It's already 9 o'clock. I, I got to be in bed now. So I got a long day tomorrow. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to vlog it so you guys will see what's going on. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys the last meal. Typical last meal. We got six ounces of New York strip steak. We got 128 grams of Jesus bread, man. And that's it. I'm going to end the night here. Probably end the video here, too. So if you guys got this far, make sure you guys join the game spam fam by subscribing to the channel. Uh, like this video. And thanks for rocking with me. See you guys in the next video. Damn. We're two days out. It's starting to hit me. Wow. One more day. Let's get through tomorrow. All right. Peace, Gaines fan.